achieve or what you have seen? How do you fill those loopholes that you have identified? And by the way, how do you identify a niche? That's something you need to learn from my panelist here. I'm speaking to uh, Joan Rispa, film director, and uh, Linda Akin, HOD, uh, Arts and Social Science, Zitek College. Good morning and welcome to 254. I want to begin with you, Linda. As a film director, uh, Anani Rispa, film director, how did you did you get yourself where you are today? How did you choose this the path I want to take? And whoop, here you are. Um, when I joined campus, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So I just did the arts, what Linda teaches. Mm -hmm. Then from there, it was just natural career progression, whereby I started from continuity. Then I wanted to try out, because field is very wide. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try out a little bit of uh, assistant directing, script writing, and now it just came naturally. It was a natural progression. That's what I'll say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how, how was it for you to to choose? Because now that there are so many things in art. Yeah. Like the, there's producer, script writing, and now directing. How did you choose? I'm um, directing the Kosawa. I think it's more of trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, you tried several? Yeah, I uh -huh. have tried many films, uh, many fields in mm -hmm. film. Mm -hmm. Then now um, writing and directing came a bit more naturally, which the one that comes up with a little bit more ease that people feel like, oh, when you do this, you mm -hmm. really are putting out your best work. Mm -hmm. When you do these ones, you yourself as a person, as an individual, you know you're struggling, mm -hmm. but also the audience is like, well, um, we didn't really feel the impact of what you did. So yeah. point to Why did you want to be a director? <laughs> uh the fear corner makosa yenye watu wengine wana make and you're just like I really want control mm -hmm. over the whole set. I want to I want cuz when you're on set the mm -hmm. director's vision is what people follow. What their vision is what people mm -hmm. end up seeing. So you really just want to control every every small element, the way you dress, the mm -hmm. way what's in your background and such things. Mm -hmm. So I just really wanted to play around with such things and have full control over such things. But I'm not a control freak. <laughs> so the next time I'm watching a movie or whatever thing, I will bring director kwa kukwa ina nibo. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> uh, for me, actually, mm -hmm. I can say it was something in me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when I was in high school, I noted that uh, I was this kind of a person who wanted to like help my colleagues understand mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. of what was being taught. Mm -hmm. So the issue of teaching, the issue of being a teacher and then later a lecturer wasn't, I, I never saw it in me, you know, when like you're growing, you're like, I have to be this, I have to be this. Mm -hmm. But I noted when I was in high school, I was this kind of a person who, when I'll hear my friends were like, I didn't understand that thing. <laughs> and for me, I got it well. So I was like, ah. Let's let's have a small meeting and mm -hmm. do it and see whether it's going to work. Mm -hmm. I remember there was another time in a class we were doing some group discussions and we had teaching practice teachers mm -hmm. who came to our school. So during that time we were chosen to like uh, go there and present something in front of class. So I went there mm -hmm. and um, there was this topic that I was really breaking it down into bits and all that. Mm -hmm. And everybody who was sitting there was like, wow, we're getting it. It's, it's, it's well, like it's getting in well. Mm -hmm. And then the TP teacher was like, mm, I think you, dis you explained that point better than me. But it was never in me that I'll become a teacher. So after high school, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I went to campus and it was education. Mm -hmm. So I did BA Arts and then Geography. CRE. So I was a geography CRE teacher. Mm -hmm. Then later I noted that uh, most students were not liking geography. You mm -hmm. know, like you'll find that a combination of geography, mm -hmm. history will be 100, geography will be 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, this is a diverse subject. Why is it that uh, uh, people, students don't like it? So of course there are some gaps I saw and all that. And I was like, mm, uh, let me pursue geography. Because mm -hmm. I looked at it as something that uh, was so diverse. Mm -hmm. If I pursue geography, I can be this, I can be that, I can be. Mm -hmm. So I looked at it as a, something that will enable me have a, uh, a wider field to specialize in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, as I was longing to do that, I was like also, maybe let me try and, and fill this gap. That like, why would students not really like geography? Mm -hmm. I know even you in school, you're like, 
rocks, rocks, rocks. <laughs> and I was like, what is it all about rocks? Why the earth is spherical. Yes, the earth is spherical. <laughs> so I can say that um, with mm -hmm. time I came to understand that uh, it was like a myth to them. You know, you'll find the previous class, it's rock, 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 rock. and So it's all about uh, positivity mm -hmm. on whatever, or the, on the subject. And also seeing it as something that is not so limited, but something that you can get in and really explore from all corners. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where I am today. Wow. Yeah. It has been a journey for you. <laughs> uh, do, do, do you have any regrets of the career cho choice you made? I do not have any. I noted mm -hmm. that uh, I, I have no regrets. Mm -hmm. I noted later because I noted that it's all about passion. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not all about what my mother wants, what my father wants. Mm -hmm. And also more of not what the society mm -hmm. wants. It's what you want mm -hmm. because uh, that will drive you to even being very, very innovative and creative mm -hmm. in whatever you like doing. Okay. That is what I noted. Uh, you've, you've mentioned something good which you'll be looking into the inv innovation and creativity yeah. when it comes to uh, film and art industry. RISPA, you said you, you're not a control freak. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what, what, what makes a good director? Uh, a good director, I think, this is something I've come to learn over the years, is you're a collaborative person. You, uh, one of the things that you have to admit to yourself is that you're not perfect. You're a flawed human being. Mm -hmm. So even in leading this whole group of people, mm -hmm. you have to admit that their input at times will be, will add value to what the whole project. Because everybody there is working towards the success of the project. Mm -hmm. So I think the biggest takeaway for every director would be mm -hmm. be as collaborative as possible. Try and listen to everybody on set mm -hmm. because they will feed you just as much as you're feeding them. Do they have to be good in colors? <laughs> <laughs> they tell me so many things. What, what do you see on the screens? Mm. But you know, we have specific <laughs> departments for that. Eh? We oh, have okay. the set designers who, mm -hmm. uh, when you tell them as a director, you'll be like, so here's the mood of the film. This is the color palette we are working with. Mm -hmm. They work with that. The wardrobe people also work with that. So it's you as a director again mm -hmm. to tell them what's the vision. Then you break it down for them. Collaboration. Yes. All right. So Linda, when, when uh, someone like Rispa comes into class and she wants <laughs> to be a director, <laughs> How, as a, as a teacher, what do you see in students? Because most of the times mm -hmm. we have people who have gone to school, mm -hmm. and they have studied a certain thing, but when they come out here, mm -hmm. we turn it different. Yeah, as a teacher, I would, um, I would want um, teachers to be very, very sensitive in class because it all starts from the class, mm -hmm. right from primary, right from high school, and even in the university. Like, uh, we really need to be very keen whenever we are handling the students. Like, uh, my passion is what I say, I touch a life and transform it. Mm -hmm. So we should always give attention to the students we are handling. Because you see, if maybe Rispa was in my class, <laughs> I guess uh, she would be this kind of a person who would want to always lead. Mm -hmm. Like when she sees something is not right, she'll be like, teacher, I think I can handle this. Teacher, I think I can handle this. Mm -hmm. Even in a classroom setup, where you see like the desk of a teacher is not uh, well arranged, mm -hmm. or the class is not uh, in an orderly manner, mm -hmm. or at times you have charts put all over, and they'll be like, I think I can do this, but I think I can. So mm -hmm. uh, to be keen, like you see when you get into class and uh, uh, you'll find a student like, teacher, how are you? Uh, th this doesn't look good. Can I put it like this? So, so when you notice such things, mm -hmm. it's important to encourage the student. At times, have a personal talk because trust me as a teacher there are those specific things that you notice from students you are handling mm -hmm. so once you notice that you can just call the student and ask like I'll have called it but <laughs> I see you very busy wanting to put things in what is your passion you mm -hmm. see so even if it's not in what I'm doing or what I know will work for her, what I know will work for her mm -hmm. I think I'll encourage her to do that which will work for you see, because mm -hmm. I might see this person, mm, you can be a very good English literature. <laughs> <laughs> no, but interesting. That is not her. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So the work of a, of a teacher or a lecturer at that stage is um, to always 
look into what this student is all about. Mm -hmm. Of course you cannot because at times you handle very big classes, 200, but there's that one that if you pick on, mm -hmm. you, can yeah, really, you, can, yeah. you can really see mm -hmm. something in uh, there. Let me just interject. Interestingly, mm -hmm. um, our producer has been, the producer I work with has been our lecturer in Moi, mm -hmm. and we work closely, we worked closely even in productions when we were still in school, so I think uh, just being able to now do film practically and have this relationship mm -hmm. with our lecturers beyond class mm -hmm. and into now the professional field mm -hmm. really helped to set us on the right track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems you've been on the ground for longer than being in class. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're teaching film, you have to be as practical as it, beca as it mm -hmm. can come because when I come out into the professional field, mm -hmm. I won't be asked the theory questions. Mm -hmm. Most times people want to see my portfolio. My portfolio is what I have done. Right. So really, it's not about um, what are your certificates, did mm -hmm. you learn this yeah. course, mm -hmm. what do you know about Aristotle and Plato? Thank no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really want to know mm -hmm. what is your portfolio. So bridging that gap between class and Nino mm -hmm. and the practical, mm -hmm. it really helped big time. All right, be before we shift gears, uh, do you think our institutions have done well in uh, instilling what practical things when it comes to a certain career path people have taken? An example, yours. <laughs> I'll say I'm one of the lucky ones. Eh? Mm -hmm. My classmates and I, we were lucky enough to get um, lecturers who were not, uh, who went beyond their mm -hmm. job description. And, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, they took it upon themselves to just break it, to see what we were doing with mm -hmm. and just um, nurture us. Unfortunately, for some friends of mine who have been in other institutions, mm -hmm. I cannot say that their path has been the same. Mm -hmm. So. Um, there is a definitely a big shift, but also as things are changing, mm -hmm. I think interestingly we all, all we are also seeing that shift in gears even mm -hmm. in the academics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now speaking of identifying niche and pushing to the limits, Linda, most of the people have a problem of identifying a problem mm -hmm. or identifying there's a gap here we need to fill and how they can fill it. Mm -hmm. How does one come up with such? Okay, it's uh, first starts with the. Uh, Okay, like that's how the system has put us to be. Like, uh, you really have to be into that which you're trained in or on, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, as you choose on what we do, I know uh, our universities or rather our system limits us such that uh, once once you do your high school, uh, you'll find yourself posted in a certain program mm -hmm. <laughs> that is not of. I think at that particular point, uh, you really need to know what you really want to do mm -hmm. and what you are passionate about. It's only that at times grades limit, yeah? right. the, the grades might limit you, but what I always advise my students is if you didn't make it at that level, uh, go for something that you know at the end of it will open up a way of what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. The grade might not favor you, but, um, or rather the program that you've been called to do might not also be very friendly, but because they're allowed changing, yeah? You're allowed to change. Mm -hmm. So change into that thing, you know that I might do this today, but tomorrow it will lead me into what I always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. That is the advice that I always give. So have that mind whenever you're going for a program or whenever you're called in for a certain program and you feel this is not my way. As you are changing, don't just change because a parent has said or a teacher has said no. What exactly do you want, okay? Mm -hmm. Then as you change, change into that, you know that at the end of it will lead me to that. Like for me, if education was not my thing, I did it at, a, at undergraduate, mm -hmm. but uh, what I did, I knew that at my master's level, I can divert, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is always a very important thing that people should never forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And maybe to go back uh, to what Trispa said, mm -hmm. uh, when, he, when she's thanking her lecturers and all that, I also remember what we always do like in ZTEC. What happens is that uh, once you identify a student has this ability, uh, we always encourage them, uh, encourage them, we give them resources that they need. And you'll find that we allow them to have projects mm -hmm. of their own that mm -hmm. will give them their own title. Mm -hmm. So you find that out there they win uh, different titles in ICT, in, in, in media, you see? Mm -hmm. So that's also how to motivate such students. Yeah. So lecturers or rather their teachers or the trainers really plays a very big role. Mm -hmm. It's not even the parent actually. Mm -hmm. And I tend to believe that let's uh, come to, let us 
and that issue of I'm doing this because my parent wants it. Yeah? Mm. Right. Let us do that which you are passionate about because mm. from that you'll be very creative. You'll know this is what I love. I can do it like this. I can put it like this. I can. That will really help us with the issue of job. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rispa, when I was choosing my career, we, uh, at the time, <laughs> there were no so many TV stations. There were a few, mm -hmm. but immediately after Niminge to call it, okay. <laughs> media flooded. <laughs> the digital so shift, I, eh? I don't know whether it was my mind and others, several others. <laughs> so when you chose, <laughs> you chose to be a director, did you see a niche in the, uh, in the space of <laughs> directors or who you feel even if you are ten even if you attend million of us, it's okay? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't know when I was starting out in film that I'll mm. end up a director, yeah? Mm -hmm. So for me it was like a natural progression of things. I'll try my hand in continuity, be like, okay, continuity mm -hmm. looks like this. Mm -hmm. Actually, as a director, you have to be familiar with all fields, eh? yeah, exactly. So you have to be a set designer, you have to be, you have to have knowledge of every department. So that when you're coming to meet your people, mm -hmm. you already know what mm -hmm. it is that they do. Yeah, yeah. And you can offer input that is as creative as possible. Mm -hmm. So, um, even if we were 10 million of us, <laughs> right now I feel like I'm very confident enough to say that mm -hmm. there can only be one whisper. Exactly. And the way I execute my things mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. not the way you would execute, execute your thing. Mm -hmm. So it's also give it a personal touch. Don't mm -hmm. go trying copying, to yeah. copy someone else. Eh? Mm -hmm. Be yourself, be uniquely you, mm -hmm. because then that is what we will identify with. That is what people will now recognize and be like, oh, that is a RISPA production. Mm -hmm. I'm a, oh, that is a Linda mm -hmm. production. Because because it has a sense of style that is uniquely her. Mm -hmm. And even if anybody else tried to copy, mm -hmm. it's impossible to get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, many patia motisha. There are 10 million of us out here. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you cannot make that mark. <laughs> All right, with that, we'll be taking a very short break. And when we come back, we'll look into more of uh, finding a niche and pushing into the limits. Stay with us and continue sending in your comments to all our social media platforms, Y254 channel, Facebook, and Twitter, as well as Instagram. We take a very short break. Stay with us. Two five four breaks fast show matters career right now. We're looking into the finding the niche and pushing the limits to achieving that. And before we take if we took that break, uh, Rispa and uh, Linda here, our uh, Tumefanya Arts and the, the in the art industry, they've been telling me how they the, the, they choose their career path where they are and how they like about it. And now we want to see how not do you develop a certain uh, niche that you have identified. Umiamoku, we feel uh huh, as a director. <laughs> now, you have you found that niche, yeah. and of course you 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 have decided this is what I want to be. Yeah. Um, whether you're ten million of you or not, <laughs> how now do you develop that particular choice and make it your brand? You compete with yourself. That is the one thing that I'll tell people. You compete with yourself such that every time you're grading yourself, <laughs> you're seeing that your previous movie is better the, uh, your current movie is better than your previous movie right mm -hmm. such that for me in my portfolio when i'm offering i can now tell people comfortably i started from here mm -hmm. this is the natural progression you can see that now the mistakes that i made when i was beginning mm -hmm. i now have improved and polished upon myself mm -hmm. it's a constant journey of not competing with the other people mm -hmm. competing with yourself mm -hmm. such that even when you're watching you're watching with this in mind you're like i made this mistake next time mm -hmm. i should look out for this i should look out for this mm -hmm. you also pat yourself on the back when you do something nice mm -hmm. yeah uh, so uh, wh while i'm con congratulating myself and seeing where i've made uh, improvements or where i've failed uh, do i get to a point okay do I stand a chance of sinking into depression or like guy and me at a si grow No no no. If you're setting goals and mm -hmm. working consistently towards them, then mm -hmm. what is limiting you? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's like in every other career, you really have to set goals. Mm -hmm. You have to work towards your goals. Mm -hmm. You have to break them down into this is how these are the steps that I want mm -hmm. to do so that I can achieve your goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Linda, how do I de develop my choice? I chose to be a a presenter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you choose to be a presenter, of course, it's something that you love. Mm -hmm. uh, you're passionate about. Right. Uh, so while you are there, see how different you can make it. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have this presenter. We have that presenter. We have. You are also one of them. Mm -hmm. So how different would you want to be? Uh, what are some new things that you bring in without diverting from the norm? Yeah, mm -hmm. so that is what uh, you need to, to dwell on. Um, uh, and by that you can uh, do research. Okay, maybe I talk about research because I like studying so much. Mm -hmm. Find out what's, what's happening, where you are, uh, out there, and even internationally. Yeah, and then think about uh, coming up with something new, mm -hmm. but not diverting from the norm. Okay, mm -hmm. you've seen that, you've seen that. I bring it together. I am one of them. So how do I make this look better? Mm -hmm. Or how do I come up with a new idea that you know that if you present it to your boss or if you present it in where you're working, it is going to be mm -hmm. adapted. That's the thing. All right, Rispa, Linda has <laughs> mentioned of <a> research. <laughs> and someone is interested to know what kind of research you can do <laughs> <laughs> in your own field. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, by the as a director, mm -hmm. it is a constant journey of researching, by mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. You have to socialize with people because you're making mm -hmm. a movie for mm -hmm. people. You mm -hmm. need to understand the way people communicate. Yeah. You need to understand what mm -hmm. at current times, for example, right now we have the corona period. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how are people relating to this pandemic? How are people reacting to this? Eh? Mm -hmm. So it's that when the trends shift, you're also shifting with the trends. You want to be as relevant as the mm. times are. Mm -hmm. So it's a constant journey of research. If I'm making a movie, for example, about a doctor and their life, mm -hmm. I really need to research on the field yeah. of medicine. Mm -hmm. If I'm making a movie about a mortician, I need to research about what happens mm -hmm. in the morgue. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, this is film. It mm -hmm. needs to be mm -hmm. as real as yeah. possible. Right. So research is very key in the field. All right. Uh, speaking of research, and uh, knowing there can't be another Hillary, mm -hmm. uh, I can only be Hillary and Hillary alone. Mm -hmm. How 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 am I safe uh, bombarding myself with so much information and comparison of this this does that the other person does this and then I want like uh, to get something from them? Mm -hmm. How do I? Uh, read from them mm -hmm. but not lose myself mm, just as a risk has mentioned it's a journey mm -hmm. and it's a lot of patience and uh, as Rispa has said that uh, you you're not looking for the best mm -hmm. from others or you're looking for the best within you mm -hmm. so as you'll be doing all these things it's all about making the best of what you're passionate about mm -hmm. uh, don't look at uh, Mado and say <laughs> You see, I like the way she does this, I like the way she does that. No. Mm -hmm. You as Hillary, mm -hmm. what is unique about what you're doing? Mm -hmm. And that will need a lot of patience without um, uh, looking at uh, wanting to be like the other one. Or it's all about you. The mm -hmm. moment you start diverting from, I want to do the way does, I want to talk the way he does, I want to do this, you're diverting. Okay, so it's all about developing you, what you're passionate about, as you bring a new thing in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So it, it needs a lot of patience. I can see it's a journey. It's, it's, it's really a, a journey. Like, I can talk of myself, like, um, when, I, when I became a high school teacher, and I was geography, she I read. Mm -hmm. There, there are things that uh, I really wanted to know. Why does this occur like this? Why does this occur? Like this? And I knew they are experts in that. Mm -hmm. But that passion of wanting to know why does this occur, why does this occur, I decided to do something we call hydroclimatology at the University of Nairobi in my master's. And there are some things I wanted to know, but I was very patient mm -hmm. with the lecturers or the, the professors involved. And uh, I can say it's, uh, it's now four. Four years, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm still not yet there, but there's something I'm still developing. Mm -hmm. So when, uh, even if it's not uh, out to the people, but within me, I see I'm moving a step higher, and I know by the time it will be out, many people will love it. It's all about that. Oh, all right. right. That. Fair yeah. enough. Now, investing to your choice. Speaking of art industry, uh, director here, Rispa. How, how investing in your in your career choice as a director in terms of resources and information how does one do, do that the biggest investment any person can ever make in their career mm -hmm. is time dedicate a lot of time mm -hmm. such that if in a day there are 24 hours dedicate at least a third of your day to your career not just the formal employment at the eight to five you're going to work mm -hmm. just for you personally mm -hmm. to build and grow yourself mm -hmm. other than that network 
network a lot. Always acknowledge that mm -hmm. you do not know everything. Mm -hmm. So you need to learn and pick up from other people, those who've been ahead of you, so that they can tell you the challenges that they've gone through. Mm -hmm. uh, again, keep your networks. Uh, build a team around you. The people who you work with and you feel they feel right, mm -hmm. work with them. Such that, for example, for me, the group that I have been working with has been a consistent team mm -hmm. for the last couple of years. I feel comfortable enough to know that when I express myself, they understand the language that I'm speaking without, there's no breakdown in communication mm -hmm. because it takes time to form a relationship especially a working relationship. Na my introvert tutafanya aje. No, 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 again. Ata <laughs> ukikuwa introvert. I think the beauty about my field now as a director is that one of the things is you really have to meet people at their comfort zones. Mm -hmm. Such that, for example, if you're an introvert, then I know I need a one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. meeting, you and I. Mm -hmm. It's not putting it out there <laughs> and being like, no, 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 no. It's mm -hmm. let's meet. Let me talk to you. Mm -hmm. Let's develop a bond whereby now you, you're even comfortable approaching me because you realize that we have a relationship, you and I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, Linda, how, how does one invest in their, in their career choice? Mm -hmm. And so much to speak of, even communication. Okay. There are many ways in which you can invest. Mm -hmm. You see... Teaching is a different field. It's, it's really a different career where mm -hmm. uh, the investment is more on the people you are dealing with or the people you are handling. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, the beauty or the, 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 the fulfillment of a teacher is uh, seeing that the person who has passed through your hands mm -hmm. is doing well. Mm -hmm. That's the most funniest thing. So uh, I, I don't mean that you, you love to leave yourself and, and think about others but uh, our greatest fulfillment as teachers as lecturer is seeing the person who went through your hands is mm -hmm. doing well and is in a in a better position and while you are doing that it doesn't mean you need to forget about yourself of course um, teaching also has uh, various ways uh, in which you can earn extra resources mm -hmm. uh, you can be having like a different tuition uh, part-time intuitions and all that, but that can only be maybe for those who are not committed in certain positions, yeah? Mm -hmm. But uh, when it comes to investing, there's a lot you can do. You can, um, like, uh, the students especially that uh, maybe that have gone through your hands, mm -hmm. uh, just as Rispa said, have a network, yeah? Mm -hmm. Through that network, you can do so much. Like, in my field, I can count on those students that maybe have passed through my hands, and we can decide to form group groups, research groups, mm -hmm. where when you see certain phenomena that are happening, we go out there, we research, mm -hmm. we post it, we get more funds, and in as we are doing that, uh, mm -hmm. you're, you're now putting, we're also making them exposed to the different world and to the different people, and you find that at the end of it all, you would have made a whole person who is able to interact at different levels and with different people. All right. Yeah. Um, you, 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 uh, both of you have spoken of uh, having a teamwork, and uh, Rispa as, as a director, I, I find you hanging out with my engineers. Okay, uh, to some extent, you have an idea ya kufanya film engineering, <laughs> but then how choosing the right people for the right mm -hmm. purpose of your career path. Mtu fanyaji, because you have a best work or different field. Yeah. I think even for me as a person, my <laughs> friends are actually in very different fields. How do you survive? I need them to watch my movies, <laughs> so I need an <laughs> audience. <laughs> so uh, it works to my benefit, but also it's just um, the people I work with, the team that I have built. Um, I started networking when I was in university, so most of them are my classmates, people who were in drama with them, my lecturers. It's just people who naturally you've worked with. Mm -hmm. And also for me, I think the beauty is uh, seeing the growth. Like Linda said, seeing the growth. Mm -hmm. So when we made our first film, we were here. Mm -hmm. Now that we are where we are, you can even look back and say, as a team, mm -hmm. we've come this far. Mm -hmm. Don't be come a star, Allah you reject mm -hmm. your people mm -hmm. and you're just you like, cut your social yes, <laughs> you cut your people off, Allah <laughs> you go out, out to at mm -hmm. a new team to find a new team that you think is better. Mm -hmm. This new team that you think is better has also been someone's work 
someone who mm -hmm. came together, put them together, mm -hmm. and they found their own way of communicating amongst themselves. So mm -hmm. when you go, you'll be an outsider. Mm -hmm. So really, invest in even just growing yourself it's and so even the people yeah. around you, because True. then mm -hmm. it comes more naturally that this person will always be my right hand, mm -hmm. this person will always, they, even if you guys have an argument, even if you guys have a conflict, mm -hmm. you can resolve it very fast, because yeah. there are no hard feelings. They understand, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, this is what we were trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. No hard feelings. All right. How do I choose my best mates? Because I'm going to be like, hey, you need to hang out, you know, you lose each other. You need to go solo. Because you're trying to be the good uh, kid who's hang out in a way. But then, choosing the people who will work with you, help build you, become the better you. How do I choose that? Okay. Uh, of course, you only have to move with those who are willing to move. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important to know uh, the interest. You go by the interest. Mm -hmm. You go by commitment, and you go by focus. Mm -hmm. So if you have somebody who's interested, committed, and focused, uh, you, you always know because, uh, like uh, personally, you just present an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, who is interested? There are those who are interested but not committed. Who is interested? Mm -hmm. Who is committed? Who is focused? Are you able to bring a new thing in what you want to do? Mm -hmm. Are you able to sacrifice? Are you able to leave this and go by this and all that? Mm -hmm. Simple. All right. Now, we're in the COVID-19 pandemic. And this is the time I have seen majority of the people have become creative in their own way. Mm -hmm. uh, people who are in the mainstream, they have moved to another space with digital. Uh, like, uh, I know a good number who have their own yeah. YouTube channel right now. They're making fun there. Even the comedians have something they are doing. Now, you spoke of reinventing and uh, being creative. Mm -hmm. This part, yeah. this COVID-19, what has it done to you different from what you were used to? Um, I think COVID-19 has made us appreciate um, the aspect of, let me even say time. We've been very economical with, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, with resources that we thought are, yani we did not even think about Kitambo. Mm -hmm. For example, now um, having to think about, we are getting all these people, we shot in Eldorite recently, mm -hmm. and just having to think about, we are bringing all these people on board, you have to be mindful, not just in the way you were before, but now precautions, right? Mm -hmm. Putting all the, uh, the right measures. Our marketing has also had to go digital because now you're thinking about um, we really can't do things the way they were. So again, it's making, um, what do I say, taking advantage of what is available to you right now and being as innovative as possible without limiting yourself and seeing that, oh, we have such a huge problem, we really can't do it mm. because COVID. Mm -hmm. It's now starting to look at what are the opportunities that COVID has presented. Mm -hmm. It's given us a global audience. Right now, we are comfortable enough to say <laughs> we improved our quality, so we are confident to say now you'll be seeing us in Netflix. Mm -hmm. A lot of Kenyan films have shifted to Netflix, and that is something that wasn't there before. So mm -hmm. it's it helps you improve and now start stop competing locally now we are now thinking about competing internationally mm -hmm. yeah all right uh, we'll be seeing uh, your trailer <laughs> <laughs> you'll tell me more about uh, the trailer and maybe uh, what was the inspiration behind it uh, as it comes uh, linda this COVID-19 mm -hmm. has helped so many people. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know you as a person how it has helped you <laughs> now that uh, that kind of a thing. How, how, how different and impactful has COVID-19 uh, been to you and maybe what is that one idea you came up with and uh, mm -hmm. it's a niche feeling. <laughs> yeah, um, COVID-19 actually has made us learn a lot in the sector of education. Mm -hmm. uh, like personally, I never knew like uh, 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 learning would go online, you know, like purely online, mm -hmm. where you handle students online for a whole term, uh, for a whole semester, and being able to do exams, and you see them doing well, mm -hmm. you see them having the same same challenges like when they were on face to face. Yeah, mm -hmm. like on ZTEC, as ZTEC, we had an online teaching that mm -hmm. ran through May, August, and uh, it was so interesting to see that uh, uh, you could even do more that uh, that you you could do face to face mm -hmm. because you see here you use youtube youtube videos uh there's more explanation there's more time with the student you know like working from home mm 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that was the most interesting thing. And uh, we noted that there wasn't any big difference. In fact, when we looked at the advantages of online teaching and face to face, we felt like online had a great advantage because students were exposed to various things that you would not do while in class. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was the biggest achievement. All right, speaking yeah. of the innovations and being creative, I would love us to, to watch that trailer and then uh, respond. <laughs> yeah, Quality yeah. and Netflix. <laughs> 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 you, you will tell us uh, I've been more boost again Netflix or <laughs> let's watch and see what happens. Girl is really happy. Thank you. Oh, and a boy is too. Help me understand your thought process. You see, you could have teacher cooler. Nikupikie, nikutafunie, alafu, unashindo kumeza. Pani amuna chemistry, I'm going to. Kari ya liliita mwenyewe. Haka niyambea, kwamba you went there, kept her waiting for a long time. How do you want me to help you? This idea was strategized. Nikupate na ilu. <laughs> that trailer, <laughs> lame, right? Yes, lame. Okay, what's the what's the inspiration behind it? Um, lame is a movie that had been had been done before by our team, <laughs> but through the Kenya Film Empowerment Program, the first rollout, we were able to receive a grant whereby we were able now to produce this film. Mm -hmm. So we were working within renovating and re and re reinventing mm -hmm. an, a previous script that had been done before, but doing it better and to make it a sweet story that is also relevant to the times. Mm -hmm. So it's a story about uh, two young career people who are ambitious, but mm -hmm. again, they keep colliding into each other mm -hmm. and their faith seems intertwined. So uh, they discover that in their personal journey, they also have to work with each other mm -hmm. and just reinvent themselves so that they can be able to conquer even the professional field. Mm -hmm. It's a story about love, it's a story about friendship, it's a story about family, it's really a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. N drop something to do with COVID-19 Apple in here. You you feel it's a boost. Uh, not really. I mean, at the end of the day, you also want it to be a timeless thing. You mm -hmm. these are issues that love, career, ambitions. You know, mm -hmm. these are things that are always there since time in. Yeah, since ages back. Mm -hmm. So, Dio, as, uh, in as much as we want to think that about COVID-19 and its presence, mm -hmm. we also want to think about how long is COVID here? Is it here to stay for the next 20, 30, 40 years? Mm -hmm. Is it a reality that now we have to live with every other day? And for us, okay, I'm an optimist, so I, I want to believe that, you know, um, <laughs> hopefully the vaccines will be out and, you know, we'll now be able to continue living normal mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. So, again, when you're creating a movie, for example, Titanic, it's a love story that it's back in, it was made like 20 years ago, mm -hmm. many, many years ago, and it's still mm -hmm. relevant till date. Yeah. So you want a movie that will also be relevant such that when future generations are watching, mm -hmm. they can also relate, because these are struggles that we've all gone through. I'm sure Linda had struggles in her career path mm -hmm. when she was starting out. These are career path. This is a movie that will always be relevant. That's how I feel. All right. Maybe as you know, we wind up uh, making a mark and becoming that particular person. Mm -hmm. uh, Linda, you are a teacher today. Uh, we speak of so many people who have become an icon in the society. Mm -hmm. um, I can say through so and so I have known this or you know like here in Kenya we speak when it comes to research we have to speak of Mugenda and Mugenda you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. um, as we wind up the career path you chose and the niche you decided to fill what do you speak of it and do you have in mind and maybe years to come this is what will be spoken of me. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, it has been a journey, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, the part that I've chosen is all about, uh, um, okay, maybe uh, being a teacher or being a lecturer, uh, molding young lives, touching their lives and ensuring that it's transformed. Mm -hmm. uh, if I was to be known for what I love, 
-hmm. I would love to be one of those who did so much in the issue of climate change, mm -hmm. not only in East Africa, but Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, my, desires, uh, my desire has always been to be part of the uh, big panel for the IPCC, it's International Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Mm -hmm. uh, they look for members who mm -hmm. participate in writing reports, doing research, like the issue of low casts, yeah? Mm -hmm. And also, we can also find like uh, the effects of climate on, on, on various areas and, and, and arenas. Mm -hmm. So that is my personal dream that one day my name be put mm -hmm. there as one of the panelists. It's an international body. Mm -hmm. But uh, my greatest achievement will be uh, one day one of those students that have passed through my hands mm -hmm. will say somewhere when he, become, he or she becomes a, a great person, maybe locally, internationally, Originally, he'll one day stand and say that uh, if it were not for Madame Linda, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't have been here. And may God bless her. Such words, that is what I'm waiting. That will be my greatest, greatest achievement. Where students that has passed through my hands, or one that I noted was falling off. Mm -hmm. and I brought him on her back, and now he's a great person, doing well. And in how his success, he'll be able to mention my name, that I remember there was a madam okay. in this university or in this school, if it were not for her, mm -hmm. that would be my greatest achievement. <laughs> wow. Super director. <laughs> Hey, that's me. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. What do I want to be remembered for? Uh, communication. I think at the end of the day, most uh, issues arise from miscommunication. Mm -hmm. So if we are able to find a way to bridge gaps with the, and just mm -hmm. amplify the voices of those people who are not heard, mm -hmm. then I feel like I will have done myself service. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. I, I have less than a minute. Do you have your final words <laughs> to young people out there? Uh, before I tell people, <laughs> young people <laughs> out there anything, mm -hmm. I'd like to suggest that everybody who is, has watched this interview, Wakuche or watch Shoyetu, Lim, mm -hmm. it's premiering on 11th December, Pale Rupia, Rupa Mall mm -hmm. at Eldoret. We are grateful that we were able to uh, do such a I will call it a masterpiece, so mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. I am very excited for people to see it and I'll really appreciate you people. The excitement of a director is when people are able to relate to what you've done. So I'll be grateful if people came to end watch. And I'm grateful for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. To young people, I'll just tell them, just do it. Whatever it is that you want to do in your life and you're passionate about it, it's mm -hmm. never too late until you're dead. So just do it. You still have time. <laughs> wow. Until you're dead. <laughs> <Too late. laughs> to the young people out there, uh, pursue what you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. That will help you be very creative and innovative mm -hmm. and do not have issues of joblessness mm -hmm. because you'll be able to uh, think about what you love and to make it better and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And I believe that uh, we have places that offer us that opportunity and you can join us in it. Thank you for the opportunity and I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Uh, I, I need not to say more. Thank you for your words. It's <laughs> never too late until you die. If you're going to do it, just do it. They have been my guests, uh, Joan Rispa, film director, and uh, Linda Kini, HOD Education, and Social Science ZTEC College. Thank you so much for coming and speaking to our audience and back home. Thank you so much for staying with us. My name is Dereva Hilary. I'll be seeing you again in the evening. Until then, enjoy the rest of our programming. Good morning and good day. Thank <laughs> you.